If it wasn't for the construction of Darlington Raceway in 1950, Cale Yarborough would have probably stayed on his farm in Sardis, but one of the sport's infamous tracks helped create a legendary driver. When I was 15 years old, I built my first race car out on the farm and uh, started running in uh, Sumter, a little quarter mile dirt track in Sumter. And uh, the, more, the more I raced and the more uh, I was around it, the, the, the better, better I liked it. So, you know, I just kept, kept moving up. And then, of course, when they came to Darlington and built the, uh, the Darlington racetrack, uh, that, that really hooked me. I, I said, well, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Yarborough knows the lady in black inside and out, from his famous trip over the guardrail to a record five Southern 500 wins. He won the Daytona 500 four times and visited Victory Lane 83 times. But his most famous stat is three straight Winston Cup championships from 1976 to 1978. It is the most proud achievement, uh, you know, and, and, and I still hold a lot of records, but uh, Sooner or later, all of them will fall. Sooner or later, that one will fall, but uh, I'm awful proud of it. I raced with him, a great competitor, and you're talking about a fire. You know, Kel, uh, you know, people talk about Kevin and some of these guys today. Kel and those guys had it in them. He is one of the sport's true pioneers. During the 1979 Daytona 500, this famous scuffle with the Allison brothers following a last lap wreck gave a national television audience a new interest in NASCAR. When it was over, over with, there was a little fisticuffs going on down in the infield, and I think everybody was off the couch, jumping up and hollering, "Look, you know, look at this! This is this, this is a great sport." And I think it did a lot for this sport. I think at the moment that was a a pretty uh, pretty exciting moment for the sport, just to the fact that it was on TV, and then it wound up the way that it did. I've been all over the world. I have yet to find a better place than the PD area of South Carolina. So why? Why move, uh, why leave the best place in the world? So you're right, I'm a homebody.